Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. You know what that means. Market outlook time. We're going to take a look at what could happen this week in FIFA Ultimate Team with the new preseason promo upcoming, the end of summer heat, the weekend league being over, and of course the icon moments, prime or icon moments, SBC being out in the game, and a lot of people being, uh, this is their focus right now on foot, is this SBC right here. So we're going to talk about this. And what could also happen uh, later on this week, just with general market movements with cards that have gone up in price since they've gone out of packs, people have bought teams and stuff like that. So we're going to take a look at some of that stuff. And I guess if we're getting random flashback SBCs like this Rodrigo Palacio is kind of a cool card. Four star, four star with really dope stats only for a 94 rated squad. So this is almost just like a fun card to put in your club, even for uh, almost a 94 rated card at the very least you can put in the club for maybe using an icon upgrade. But uh, maybe we see some more content like that throughout the week as well. And of course, we will be getting the upgrades uh, to Trezeguet and Masuaku because they did they drop they drew today. Um, that game ended 1-1. So we'll talk about that as well. But first things first, I want to talk about the loading screen. This loading screen right here, because again, it, it, they gave us another small tidbit of information today. I would expect another small tidbit of information released on the loading screen today on Monday and also on Tuesday. So probably Monday, Tuesday, they'll upgrade the loading screen uh, and release just another small little portion, uh, you know, maybe trying to give us a clue about what this preseason promo is going to be about. So yesterday we had um, this added. Basically, it's an SBC crest with a plus beside it. And my good friend Weaver did some good research. He said he remembers the plus from the Summer Heat promo. Every re-released smaller pack SBC had this on it. So basically, this is would be a sign of Road to the Final SBCs being re-released like pack SBCs. Um, so I guess they're going to be releasing the pack SBCs, which makes me think that, hey, they might be putting something into packs, um, because it's going to be a promo. Maybe they're going to put cards back into packs that are already old promos. Maybe they're going to juice all the road to the final items and put them back into packs. The opportunities here are still unknown and they're still endless. Do we know if this has FIFA 21 implications still? I'm on the fence about that. Originally, I thought it was like preseason. Before we knew about the road to the final stuff, before that uh, loading screen that came on Saturday, the, the loading screen that came out on Friday, a lot of people were starting to think, hey, this looks to be related to like FIFA 21 or something like that. But instead, it's actually kind of looking like it just might be a UCL slash Europa League Um promotion and it's going to be interesting to see how ea does with that what they're going to do and that's kind of what the first half of the week is going to look like on this game is just figuring out what is going to go on uh with this promo like what in the world is going to go on with these road to the final cards now these cards have been in packs uh they've been re-released back into packs i think these were in batch two these might have been in batch two and then they were also i think some of them in batch three as well because batch three was just a conglomeration of batch one and batch two so uh these cards are already very cheap like there's only how many cards over a hundred thousand coins are there in um there are one two three cards over a hundred thousand coins that is kante mane and sun three cards over 100k from the road to the final at least team one maybe a couple from team two but again these cards really aren't that hype at this stage of the game so i'm really curious to see what ea does with this promo because if they do not make it as good they have they have a tall order EA has a very tall order to live up to here because this Summer Heat promo, when you're giving us 93, 94, 95 rated players almost every single day, you're going to have to top that somehow. Now, they're still giving us 94 rated flashback cards, so I guess that is a plus. Um, but uh, they know. They know that they have to do something good with this promo because they've seen our feedback on Twitter and they've seen us talking about it, and they know that we loved the Summer Heat promo. So they're going to have to do more of the same for whatever this preseason promo is or do something completely different um but it looks like it is going to be somewhat champions league and europa league related hopefully we get an, a loading screen today that actually shows us a bit more uh because again this loading screen right here really doesn't show us that much it just shows us hey there, there might be some re-released sbcs uh 
which, which is what this plus means, uh, I guess. They finally fixed their typo on the side as well. This uh, outer border used to say pre sazen <laughs> and they actually fixed that, so GG's, uh, after that was pointed out by a lot of people on Twitter today. Uh, and then for the rest of this week, as we get near to this promo, what's going to honestly happen? Probably today and tomorrow, if there's more content that comes out, People are right now just on the game submitting coins into these Prime Icon upgrades, Prime or Moments Icon upgrades. The market is really not dropping that much. I think part of that is just because people bought their end game teams. They, they really thought the game was over. Like, yes, people think the game's over after TOTS. We know we had footies last year. We had Summer Heat this year. I think a lot of people thought the game was over. I mean, you got guys like Neymar, Mbappe, team of the season cards that are still high. And I expected some of these cards to drop more today, but they've really kind of held their price. And honestly, that at least right now, I don't think people are really interested or worried about this preseason promo because these cards are still maintaining a very high price and uh, they're not too worried about that. Now, if we do figure out that there's going to be cards re-released back into packs, that would definitely create some panic selling situations this week on the market. So just be careful with that. If you do have some of these cards tradable in your team, if you bought your end game team, um, yes, you might see some drop in price on those and you're still going to see weekend league sell off. Like there are still some cards that are down. I was watching some icons today. Just a small tip. If you want to do some flipping and trading this week, icons are probably going to be decent to flip. Uh, because again, whenever we have an icon SBC that can, comes out kind of like the one we have out right now, the prime or moments SBC guaranteed, um, like the, like this blonde card is 700,000 coins at the moment. He was like 650k at a point earlier today. That's a very profitable price range fluctuation. Wow, Desai's 394. He was like over 400k, obviously for most of the day today. So there are definitely some icons that are getting sold off. You might see some fluctuations still on those this week um, that you could possibly trade with. And a lot of these cards are going to start getting rare. A lot of these team of the season cards are going to start getting very rare. I know they were just in packs. But guys like this Mbappe, guys that are uh, very meta, like Mbappe's got one page, right? Ronaldo's probably getting rare. Messi's probably getting rare. Suarez, Benzema, uh, even some, there's some sneaky rare cards out there. Like Kenny Lala's team of the season card does not have a lot of supply most of the time for the type of card that he is. I mean, he's not a 98 rated like Mbappe is or a 97. Uh, you know, he's got... You know, he's, he's got eight pages of supply, but this is, you know, we've had a couple right back SBCs, but this is still one of the most valuable right backs in the game. I know Semedo is an objective right now, so he's got the hype. Um, but, I mean, some of these cards you can definitely look to trade with because these they're just so they're so high in demand, right? Lala right now is 180, 170,000 coins, it looks to be. Uh, 178,000 coins, and uh, this is probably down a decent amount from the weekend because of um that's the meadow card being objectives and a lot of people getting that to link up uh but just be careful with some of these team of the seasons and also you know there's a potential to be to, to flip them as well throughout the, the earlier parts of this week if we get more information about what's going to happen with cards back in packs then we'll revisit that subject uh on this game uh trezeguet again is going to go to a 93 rated card because uh villa and west ham did draw today it was actually a pretty a pretty um entertaining game to watch if you did watch this which final sunday in the prem um my boys from spurs we got ourselves in that sixth place spot we're gonna be going to europa league guaranteed feels good or at least we salvaged something out of uh the end of the season where it was not looking so good but yeah masuaku and trezeguet are both gonna go to 93 rated cards this is uh is this the first draw this might be the first draw that we had in a summer showdown game if i'm not mistaken i don't know if we've had any other draws before this bill foden um he didn't that was a win i mean we had vinicius that was a win so i don't know if we've had any other draws uh now we do have another game that is coming very soon that is napoli uh versus inter and of course you have callejon and uh alexis sanchez Summer showdown cards that will be that game will be happening later this week, and that's something you can watch out for as well. Still, like the last grasp of summer heat, I guess, and Semedo and objectives. Those are kind of the last two things that are going on this week related to that summer heat promo. And then again, a lot of people are still sinking their coins into these prime or moments icon player SBCs, which are very, very addicting. But again, if I was you, I would hold off because if we're, if we are going to get re-released SBCs cards back into packs, if that is anywhere or sorts of a possibility in this next week with the preseason promo, 
uh, or possibly even upgrade packs, I would just hold off. I would wait because I would not want you submitting uh, cards in your club and submitting things into SBCs that you could actually wait a couple days and then begin to craft and, and be smarter with that coin balance. You know, I'm on 1.4 million coins. I'm slightly motivated to even try to trade a little bit because uh, just, you know, they keep putting out these promos week after week after week. We thought Summer Heat was the last gasp, right? No, EA has more up their sleeve. So we'll see what happens this week with that. Uh, speaking of SBCs again, one more time. Cheapest players by rating. These cards are starting to go down because there are less and less SBCs that are out. But again, um, these cards are still very heavily inflated from what they have been most times throughout the year. I mean, if you just look at 83s and 84s, these might be up today because of the Palacio SBC. Um, but these guys are still 5,000 coins. And look what they were for most of the year, man. This A lot of the 83s for most of the year were somewhere around the 1 to 3K range. They would spike 1.5K up to 3K, even for a very good card with good links like Kadira, really good for SBCs. Uh, it was just these past few weeks with like Team of the Season and, and with Summer Heat with all the SBCs that were coming out. Uh, that a lot of these cards got super expensive. So I don't think SBC fodder is good to invest in or club stock just yet. But if you want to trade, if you want to trade with some of these cheapest players by rating items uh, that are up here in the higher echelon of SBC fodder, like the 87 rated and up, these guys fluctuate on the daily uh, because they're rare, they're out of packs, and they still right now function as basically SBC fodder for most of these SBCs. Like this Musa Dembele is 45,000 coins. It looks like he's kind of spiked up right now. Looks like he was 35K for most of the day and a lot of people are just getting the squad battle rewards and putting their coins into more of these icon upgrade SBCs after weekly because this is another thing you can talk about is that um, there's been so much content. There's been something to do for the past like, what is it, the, the past month? Past over a month time span, there's always been something to do, whether it's upgrade packs, whether it's crafting an SBC, you could do bronze pack method into the silver upgrades, into the bronze and silver upgrades, and then just craft upgrade packs that way. And then you could, you know, do one of these summer heat player SBCs, you could do objectives. Now there is an objective out right now, but I feel like with people having a lack of things to do on this game, at least for the next two or three days, that's going to drive people into doing more of these icon upgrades because like that's kind of one of the only outlets that they have right now on this game to do. Um, and that just might be something that makes SBC fodder fluctuate and actually pretty good to trade with. Now, we've talked about this a lot before, but uh, going to that cheapest players by rating page on Footbin is a very, very good place to go to watch fluctuations. Manuel Neuer's inform is right now, according to Footbin, 39,000 coins, but it's one of the cheapest cards per that rating. Shows on Footbin is 39,000 coins, but it's actually 47K. This is a perfect scenario of when you can trade with a card like this. Now, this somebody might uh, see the price on Footbin for this card, still have it in their club for some reason, and then try to sell it and then undercut at 39K. Or, you know, you can kind of go down the list on that cheapest players by rating page that we were looking at. And just look at some of these players and, and see their fluctuations if they move around a decent amount. Now, Dybala, as an 89 rated card, shows on Footbin as 40,000 coins uh, as one of the cheaper 89 rated cards, right? Now, very soon, he might dip down like somebody might see his 40K, undercut him, because right now the cheapest 89 on Footbin is 38,000 coins. Somebody might undercut this to 38, 37,000 coins. Footbin will pick up on it. The solutions that contain Dybala in them for that Icon Moments Upgrade Pack will then shoot to be the cheapest solution based off of Footbin. And then people go out and they copy those solutions and then these cards rise. That's how you do like solution trading. Uh, so like open bids like this on a 30,000 coin, 89 rated Dybala or this open bid right here, like that's perfect. That is a recipe for profit and out of packs card that is demand in demand for uh, icon SBCs. These cards are going to fluctuate all around. So use that to your advantage this week. If you do want to do a bit of trading, use that to your advantage. Some people also ask me, should I buy rare golds uh, in you know preparation for a possible upgrade SBC that could come out this week? My opinion is uh, I would really not. I mean, at the very, very worst, if, if they put team of the season cards back into packs and it's basically like the uh, batch three cards back in packs again, and then they release like an 81 double plus or even an 84 double plus. Um, I don't think you would see the rare cards going really that much over a thousand coins. 
if they did it 84 double, then they might go to like 1.3, 1.4K. Um, but it all depends on what they re-release back into packs uh, and uh, what SPCs they come out with. So I guess if you really thought there was going to be something like that coming, you could do a club stock on rare golds, which sounds kind of weird to say. Uh, but if you, you wanted to do that, you could. And then other than that, this weekend, I think rewards are actually going to be the same rewards that we've had during summer heat. I don't think it's going to be any different. Uh, I think we're still going to have team of the season cards and the 90 plus picks for uh, gold to and above. So basically the same rewards we've had for like the past month, I think we're going to continue to have. If they change it to team of the week cards, that would be a massive L. They know better to do that. They know better to not do that uh, and to make us very upset and not want to play their game at all. If they would do that, that's for sure. So hopefully they don't mess around with that. Um, but I think that is going to be rewards. And by the time rewards come, there might be special cards and packs. We might know a lot more about this preseason promo. So watch out for that Wednesday, 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 Wednesday is the big day of this week on FIFA because you know, Monday, Tuesday, it's going to be low key, probably a new loading screen each day. We'll have some more theoretical analysis to kind of look at those loading screens and figure out, Hey, what this promo might be about. But Wednesday is going to be that big day where we figure out what stuff is going to be in packs, if anything, what SBCs, objectives, content, and just basically what is that preseason promo. I know there's a lot of stuff going around Twitter right now about FIFA 21 leaks, people that have the beta somehow. Uh, again, just take all that with a just a grain of salt, right? Just take all that uh, as just, you know, leak information, which is always somewhat reliable, but not always exactly true. Um, I think that that footage came from like a person who was a play tester for EA and somehow somebody else got on their account and recorded all of that gameplay. So um, I think the beta is actually supposed to be released. The closed beta, which goes out invite only, is supposed to be released in late August, I believe. And I think it's usually out in like middle August to early August usually. But uh, of course, this year with everything being delayed about two weeks, I think it might come out late August time frame. So that's not anything that's on the horizon like right here, right now. But I just wanted to kind of mention to that because I do, did have a few people that asked me about the beta. And I was like, I think we still have a little bit of time before then. So hopefully this week is going to be a pumped up week with uh, Champions League coming very, very soon. And of course, a preseason promo, which is pretty interesting. Let's hope EA don't drop the ball on this one. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.